guess all the makeup has worn off and the baggies under my eyes have inflamed. Oh well, it's the way it is, kids. It's the way it is. So, um, it's been kind of a stressful couple few days. Uh, my mom was in the hospital. She's fine. She's home now, but um, she had some heart-related issues that needed to be addressed, and I think they've been addressed, and so we just have to wait and see if this works. Um, so, and then my significant other caught um, a bug, so he's sick. Um, so it, it's been a little bit of a stressful few days, and um, so luckily, luckily, uh, um, Things are starting to calm down. He's starting to feel better. She's home. And and I don't, uh, I really didn't need to worry in the first place, but you know, you'd worry. So, um, I don't know if I did the hello, crustacean. Hello, YouTube. This is the crustacean swimming to you. If I did it already, then oh well, I did it again. But, um, so I was thinking, um, so then, kind of recently, that a bunch of scary stuff has come out, and I thought this is kind of early for scary stuff. I mean, that's next month, it's October, Halloween, and all that. So, we're like, good day. But uh, I'm gonna say, but uh, look, anyway, and that too. So it's storming over here, and I thought I'd tell a scary story. Now, this is a true scary story. Very true. My mom was in the hospital. She had cancer and we had to, it needed to be taken care of, and it was, and she's been cancer free ever since. So, yay! Um, but she was in, she was in, the, hospital, in the hospital and with cancer, and my aunt was in the hospital too. So it was funny. Whenever one of them ended up in the hospital, in the hospital the other one ended up in the hospital too. I don't know. It just was kind of like, Cosmos, God, whatever, universe, whatever. We want to say, putting them in the hospital together. I was like, we, got, we don't need to double the team here, okay? We can just take our turns or, you know, come out. So, um, my mom had her surgery to remove her cancer. And I saw that she got up into her room and got, and got settled in and everything. And I was like, all right, you know, she had one of those, I call it the magic buttons, you know, the magic buttons that you gave you after surgery to help with your, help with the pain. And I said, mom, you can push your button. Uh, I think hers was like every six to eight minutes. I said, you can push your button if you're in pain. And she said, okay. And she's pretty out of it still from all the medicine they give you during a surgical procedure. So I thought she was sleeping and snoring because Hey, I snore, people snore. So I thought she was sleeping and she was snoring. And she wasn't snoring. Um, if anybody's ever heard, seen somebody pass away or somebody have great troubles breathing and stuff like that, they make this a like, gurgling sound. And I didn't know, I had never heard it before. I was, this was back in 2000. 2008 so it's been eight years and it may have been 2007 but I think it was 2008 uh, so I had never heard of that heard that sound before I mean I have asthma she have she has asthma but I've never heard that sound before so I just thought it was a snoring sound okay like you know it was just what it was and so I didn't alert the nurses I didn't learn anything I just told her I said Mom, I'm going to go get Faith, because Faith was on, my aunt was on the floor, a couple of floors above. So I said, I'm going to go get Faith, and then we'll be back, okay? Okay. So I went, I pitter-pattered my way to the elevators, took the elevators up to um, Faith's room, got her situated in a wheelchair, and started making my way back down to my mom's room. And I was like, okay, we're doing good. And all of a sudden, I hear over the speaker overhead or whatever you want to call it um such and such room code re uh code blue such and such room code blue and faith says to me isn't that your mom's room and i was like no it can't be my mom's room she's fine she wasn't fine not at all and <laughs> yeah, 
she she wasn't fine so we get in we get to her floor and of course she would keep repeating the code blue every so many minutes or whatnot and when we looked down my mom's room was at the end of the hallway or the corridor or whatever and i see all these nurses and aides and doctors kind of like doing the beehive thing around her room you know going in and coming back going in and coming back and i was like what's going on here what's going on here we ain't gonna have none of these now we ain't gonna have none of these and so i told faith i said buckle up because it's gonna get bumpy so i pushed um her down the um hallway as fast as I could um, and kind of pushed her wheelchair off to the side and um, weaved in and out of the nurses and doctors to figure out what's going on with my mom and you know what was what, yeah what was going on with her um, she had coded which means she had stopped breathing and they were close to putting an intubation in and close to putting some other things in and what had happened is she's very sensitive we, we were very our family is very sensitive to medication and she had gotten too much of a certain medication in her system and it had suppressed her breathing okay so she started coming out of it all on her um on her own if you hear in the background the significant other is talking to his friend so um but if, so she, she had uh, started waking up, coming out of it because they had given her every, almost everything has a um, counter to it. And they had given her the counter to this medicine that, that, uh, that had suppressed her breathing. So she was starting to come out of it. And uh, she looked up at him and she was like, was I trying to die on you? <laughs> Um, well, you stopped breathing, so, yeah, you kind of were. And I am, of course, a basket case at this point. I mean, she had cancer. Um, we had just, I think my grandmother had just passed away. Faith was in the hospital. I was, I was, it was pretty much on the mic. And what about her husband? Well, her husband, he was doing the best he could. It just put it that way he has uh, my dad stepdad has some uh, mental has have mental health issues and he was doing the best he could so yeah um yeah so I'm sitting there I'm just crying and crying and crying and crying and crying and I'm like is she gonna be okay and the nurse kind of grabbed my arm and pulled me out of the room and said no she stopped breathing and we're going to do this and we're going to do that and while the nurse had been telling me all this that's when my mom kind of woke up out of it and uh, I came in there and I was I'm just bawling and she's like hi I thought I'd go check out my my mansion in heaven and I'm like you're not funny this is not funny you tried to die on me and the doctors asked me, they asked me, well, what happened? What was going on? I said, well, um, this is, I told her, well, I, said, I told her that she could use her magic button every eight minutes or whenever it was. I said, if she chose to use it, I said, they, asked, they asked me, did you push it for her? I said, no, I didn't push it for her. Um, they said, is she doing anything weird when you left? I said, she was snoring. And they said, what kind of sound was she making? And I made the sound for them. And they're like, honey, that's not snoring. That's um, a gurgling sound when somebody stops breathing. I'm like, oh. So I felt awful for quite some time about it because I felt like, well, I should have done that and um, got the nurses and did something right then. You know, I mean, obviously thinking logically about it you can't do anything about something you don't know and if you don't know it about something and things happen it's not your fault you know to a certain point it's not your fault so I was like oh okay so yeah I had a um she stayed in the hospital for about a week um, she ended up on the ICU for 24 hours and they put her back down to the regular floor and then she ended up um Oh, uh, yeah, the hospital for about a week. 
came home, had some had some other things to do with the cancer and the surgery, but generally ended up fine, you know. Um, so that was probably the scariest thing that has that that ranks up with the scariest things that have ever happened to me. Uh, so I thought since everybody's kind of doing scary stuff and kind of and it's a stormy evening, I'd tell a scary story. All right, well thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Catch you next time. Mm -hmm.